Hello everyone, I wanted to introduce to you Canasta Junction. This is a quick way you can play with bots and learn how to play. You're going to go to Verse Ace and you can click on your computer sp speed whether you want to go fast or slow. I like to play fast, but you can slow it down and then you're just going to start the game. It tells you adding wild cards to existing melds require you at least five natural cards before you can add a wild card. You may not go out with a pair and wild card. This is the best way to play so that you strategically place your wild cards in the best spots. Don't forget to ask your teammate to go out. They've arranged the cards for you automatically. I'm the first person to go. I am to the left of the dealer. So I'm going to pick a card. And I already have my three of a kind for my opening initial melt. I don't need the fourth one, but I could use it if I needed the point count. So far I have 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30. I do need the fourth queen in order to open. It is my first turn. I'm going to discard and wait till the pack builds up and hopefully I can pick the pack. The play goes around from person to person, picking and discarding, and trying to create their 125. That is our required point count on the far right at the top. It is my turn. The person to my right discarded a four, which does not match anything in my hand. I'm going to pick another card. I picked an ace. So now this might be a better way to meld. I have 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110, and then I can just put down three queens. I'm going to give it one more shot to possibly put out a card that I can pick. Now I have three kings. Let's get rid of one of our queens. The player to my left has just melted. Now I have to be careful to discard to my player to the left. I have plenty of points to open, so now I'm going to open. I was hoping that the player on my right would discard something that would help me pick the pack. I don't have a proper discard to the player on my left, so I'm going to discard a seven. Typically you hold on to two sevens but I'm not signaling my partner at this point. I was having a difficult time for discarding. You can look back to see what the person uh, before you uh, discarded, so keep that in mind. I'm going to throw a four. Keep watch on your player on your left. She just threw a five and now my partner picked it, which is a great way. Now my partner has that seven I discarded, so I'm going to remember that. Hopefully we can get two canastas and get out of this game. My partner is giving me one turn in order to lay down the cards that I have. So I'm looking to get out of this game, and so I'm going to make a plan. If I put down my kings, that's three kings. I can close the queens with my two wilds. Then I can put the six down and the five, and I can close the fives. That will leave me with two eights. I can almost go out. So let's put the kings down. I'm going to put my five down, close the five, and I'm going to discard um, the eight. I'm going to let my partner put down her cards now, and maybe we can go out. I picked another wild, so we're very lucky this game. We've got lots of wilds. I'm going to ask my partner on the far right-hand side, may I go 
out. Now remember, I'm playing against the computer, so the computer is not going to respond, but if it was a regular game, my partner would respond. You just click on the little um, bubbles to uh, open and close the conversation. So I asked my partner, my partner said yes. So I'm going to place the six. I'm going to close the sixes. And then I'm going to close either the kings, queens, or tens. It doesn't really matter, um, but I'm going to close the kings. And then I discard, and we now have three canastas. Our score is here in the top right. We have 1,940 points, and I'm discarding, and the game will end. We can continue to play to 8,500 points, but since we're playing against bots, we don't have to continue the play. Please, if you play with regular people, please make sure you finish the game to complete 8,500 points. So make sure you allow the time in your schedule to do so. I'm going to return to the lobby, and I'm going to go back, and I want to show you this is where you would play with a regular game. You would hit on play, and then you would look for a game here, or you would create your own game. By creating a game, you put in create game. You put in your title. So I'm going to do canasta class would be my title. Then I put for player. And then you can put in a requirement for your level from 0 to 9.99. I usually leave it as that, but sometimes you may not want um, higher level people joining your game if you're new or vice versa. If you are a seasoned player, you might not want lower level people. So you can change your level. Then you would hit start game. And then you would sit and wait for more people to join you. We're not going to continue with that today. So I'm going to leave the game. And um, again, let's go back to the beginning. And I just wanted to share that quick how to play on Canasta Junction. We'll do more of this in later episodes, but this is my first episode, and we might also try another platform also. So look at some of my videos for tips and tricks and strategies, or if you're a beginner, I have a beginner series. You can contact me for any lessons. Email me at mahjongclass at yahoo.com. Yes, I teach Mahjong as well as Canasta. Thank you and have a great day.